Ford patents in-car system that <laughs> eavesdrops so it can play you ads. Yeah. Imagine yeah. your car playing you an ad based on your destination, vehicle information, and listening to your conversations. I'm just going to let you have fun with this one. Well, well, you know, here's the interesting thing. Ford has applied for this patent, and they have said, just because we've applied for this patent doesn't mean that we would actually include this stuff in a car. Really? Really? You expect us to believe that? You're going to spend big money to develop this type of software that has the ability to listen to conversations inside the car and then tailor specific, specific marketing pitches to you based on your conversations or based on the information you put into your navigation system. If you think they're spending money to do that, uh, to not use it, you're out of your flipping mind. They see this as such an opportunity to make so damn much extra money. Imagine saying to advertisers out there, um, well, we know that uh, so-and-so is planning on going to the mall today based on the information they put into their GPS. Anybody at the mall want to run an ad for them to see before they get there? I mean, that's actually they, that I hate to break it to you. What you just described is not the worst of it because your phone's already doing that. What's worse about this is the car listening to you. Who cares about the GPS? It's like, Oh, I'm thinking about going to Chili's tonight. Next thing you know, you're getting a radio ad for Chili's. I mean, that's bad, dude. Well, that's you know what? You know what would be worse? Huh? If you're married and you just happen to say no, in your phone, no, no, no. I thought you were just going to say if you're married. Period. No, well, that could be, but but if if you're married and you just happen to dial up your mistress um, while you're in the car. Um, now, at that particular point, Ford can hold you hostage and say, you want us to share that information with your wife? I mean, in our opinion, come on. in our opinion, Ford, in our opinion, that would be bad yeah. if your software yeah. did that, in our opinion. Yeah, that in our opinion, that would be bad. And now that we've mentioned it, uh, let us know how you're planning on refining it to be able to do just that. <sighs> Man, can you ima can you imagine when it does that? That suddenly, suddenly, an ad appears for a divorce attorney. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this this will be. You have you know all these manufacturers talk about how they want to make so much money off of software. Advertising revenue goes a long, long way, and uh, when you can combine that with your software, uh, I mean, you'll have. Morgan and Morgan will be in your ear all day long in on your on your vehicle um, for whatever. I mean, it's just we are entering a stage in history that is pure lunacy, absolute lunacy. Um, but the good news is. If you're an Uber driver, you can record every conversation that you're having with your customers and prove that some of them, uh, well, maybe shouldn't be using Uber. All right. We've got a story from Purdue, the university. Uh, there was a kicking contest, Dad, that a car dealership sponsored. Did you yeah. get a chance to read this article, Dad? Did I ever. Zach Spangler earned his two-year car lease. Rohrman, the dealership, should give it to him. I'm going to run through it. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Purdue Jr. Zachary Spangler kicked all three field goals in 30.05 seconds during a halftime kicks for cash competition at the Purdue versus Indiana State game last week. With fanfare and applause, he put on a show for the Ross Aid. Ross Aid, yes, I guess, Brigade. <laughs> and uh, brought huge amounts of attention to the Roman Automotive Group, and it seemed like they would award Spangler a two-year car lease for his achievement. The, the, the game here was he had to make field goals, and if you did, you get a two-year car lease. Right. But days later on Thursday evening, Roman told the, uh, told the junior he wasn't getting the lease at all. Spangler was the third person ever to complete the 20- and 30-yard field goals in the Kicks for Cash competition. He should have won the two-year lease from the dealership. Spangler told the exponent that the... the um, the newspaper here, the prize was promised him, but the company apparently reneged on the deal. In an email to Spangler, Rorman told him he couldn't get the lease because of the rules, but those rules were apparently not expressed to anyone, let alone 
the competitor himself. The competition's rules contradict standard football rules, where from the backyard to the, te- to the Big Ten, the time limit is only enforced until the ball is snapped. In an email to the exponent, Rorman representatives Trey Rorman said Spangler didn't complete the challenge by five hundredths of a second. Quote, we are disappointed that Zach was led to believe that he did accomplish the challenge, Trey wrote. Our decision to not award him the grand prize was not personal, simply out of principle and rules based. Yes, Spangler was led to believe that he won the lease, but Rorman itself, when his, uh, but R- by Rorman itself, when his contact information was taken so he could get the prize. So why aren't they giving it to him now? This is nuts, man. It is, and 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 <laughs> um, I I don't know about backyard rules or any other rules for kicking field goals, but my guess is that somewhere somehow it is stipulated that you have to kick a twenty and a thirty yard field goal within thirty seconds, and he was at five hundredths of a second beyond that. So but that was the, from the kick, not from the snap, not from the snap. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to say that 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 Rorman's insurance company that insures this contest are the sticklers that are saying, well, we're not giving him a two year lease. He didn't do it in the time allotted, um, you know, because the insurance company that might charge a hundred dollars every time they yeah. have this promotion doesn't want to suddenly have to eat. I don't know, $15,000 worth of lease payments now. And, and I know that these type of promotions always have insurance because, you know, we would sponsor a hole in one contests and it wasn't like we were paying for the car or the lease on the car. We took out insurance in case somebody actually hit that hole in one and they had to get a car. Uh, So the insurance company would pay for it. Now, if you're as big a group as Rorman is, and and you could afford to sign a contract to have naming rights to that stadium at the cost of $15 million, I don't know over how many years, you know, maybe it was a million dollars a year for 15 years or maybe whatever. Maybe it was a half a million dollars a year for 30 years. I don't know. I just know that for the cost of of whatever that lease would be for two years, 15 grand or 20 grand, whatever it is, it's nothing in comparison to the goodwill you would create within that community if you were to just give that kid the car. Okay, and and whatever that cost may be, if it's fifteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars, it's just getting charged to your marketing budget anyway. You would be able to say, "Hey, our insurance company said no, but Rorman says yes," and and that would buy you so much goodwill that you know people out there who are thinking about getting a car are going to say to themselves. Well, look at those good folks at Rorman. Why wouldn't I want to go over there as opposed to now? They could be saying, look at them. I can't use the word over at Rorman. Um, they wouldn't even give that kid that car. I it's a five hundredth of a second. Now, it's not the Olympics. It's, you know, we're not trying to determine first place and second place here. But my God. How stupid can you be to not see the goodwill that would buy you by just giving the kid the car? Yeah, I thought it was fantastic when I saw this story. I mean, I was it was like I was ready for you to react to it. Obviously, it's disappointing <laughs> what's happening there, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get an update in a week or so. 